Hello, I'm Zardis. Grab some coffee, sit back and chill as we learn about the tree controller mod. So this one is a great mod that does many things. Mainly it controls the trees. Of course, it's called tree controller. But once you have it enabled, let's go through the options first of all. So you find it on um, on PDF's mods, of course, and it is by Yen Yang, a great modder, and there are many things you can do. First of all, you can select to use the dead model during winter so that during the winter, the leaves are gone, which is really nice. And so I've already selected that for myself. Uh, then you can disable the tree growth entirely. So the only trees that will grow are in the lumber industry. The rest of them will stay however you have it set. Age selection technique, you can do forest distribution or equal distribution. The difference here is equal will have all of the trees equally spaced and forest distribution, it will try to guess what a good distribution is to have a, a good look of a forest because in real life things are not quite equal. Then you can include the stumps which will then um, have some stumps in your forest. You can have it be a faster full brush strength, so by default it will be set to 300%. You can have limited tree anarchy, so this will make your forests a little bit more dense. Now that will mean that it will take more uh, graphics power from your computer, but that will have a more realistic look in my opinion. Then the color variation set, so if you want to put the uh, spring trees down, you can choose that and they will be green all the time. Autumn would be autumn all the time, or you can change it to Yen Yang's, which is a curated amount of color or a curated set, or of course vanilla. I am currently using Yen Yang's. Then you can have free trees and vegetation, so you don't have to spend any money when placing trees. You can constrain the brush, which just kind of makes it a little bit easier for it to be within the limits of the brush itself. And that way you can really make sure that you're only putting things where you want them. You also have a few uh, options here. You can safely remove the mod components and any tree brush model sets. So it would get rid of the, the trees that you've put here, or like it, it'll reset them to what it would be without the mod. You can use this button to delete all of the trees from the map. So if you download a map and you don't really like where the trees are, you can just use this and then you can put the trees where you want. Or you can reset the general settings. And then under wind here, you can control the wind differently. You can have the base game wind controller or like the wind the way it is you can disable wind entirely or you can override it and then you can come down here and change the wind strength and then direction and then variance with the direction and stuff like that i'm not gonna mess with that i even marked disable wind when paused because that will uh, make things uh, performance wise even better when you are not uh, playing so then let's go back and look at what the mod can do in the game. So if you come down to landscaping, you can select, you know, a tree or a brush or a bush or something. And what you have now is sets here. And so you can go a uh, wild deciduous and that is a curated set of the deciduous trees. You can right click to erase them, which by the way, if you are, if you have this here and you are you have the, the snapping here, it will only delete one type of tree. So if you unclick snapping, it will delete all of the trees within the brush. So that is one little tip there. Another thing, if you go to evergreen, you can do a curated set of the evergreen trees. And then we can delete them the same way. And then we can look at a wild bush set. So you can do a lot of different uh, detailing with these automatically. And then I have set a custom set. And to do that, you can go into advanced set control panel. And what you want to do is you want to select some trees. And what you do is you select with control. You do like this, this, this. And so now we've got a whole bunch of trees in this set. 
and we are currently in the temporary set. But then if you hold control and click on this, it will set that now as tree set number two. So like I set up a tropical one here. So when I go one, I can just go like this and a set of tropical trees comes in. Those are the tree sets. Now, the other things you can do in here are the different ages of the trees that will appear. So by default, I think it goes to this one here, which is mature, but you could just have a bunch of saplings and have them growing at the same time as if they planted all of that at once, or you could select just the young trees or just the mature trees or the elderly or even just the dead trees. So you could just have a bunch of dead trees here. It isn't quite as fun with the tropical, but let's switch to the um, evergreen and then you'll really see a dead forest here. So that is another thing you can do, or you can select here, if you toggle off, it will default to the adult version, the mature, or if you go like this, it will have a mix of all ages. And if you had the option, remember, of the stumps included, then you would get stumps in there. But you can see here how dense this forest is getting with our dense forest uh, setting on there. But that is the tree controller mod. I think it is an essential mod for City Skylines 2, just like the um, the tree. I don't remember what it was called right now. The mine, the the word is blanking. The one that we used for City Skylines 1, it is very similar to that. But this one is even more powerful because City Skylines 2 is more powerful than the original. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on the screen. It should take you to my beginner's guide with many more tips. And uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.